Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Trek Yards. He is Commander Cocking. He is Captain Foley. Yeah. What ship are we going to look at today, Samuel? Well, it's taken us years, many, many years, to finally look at the Stargazer, the exciting four nacelle ship featured in TNG and just a beauty, you know? Just, just... We've, already, we've already done that episode. We did, like, a really good episode on the Stargazer. But why is it called Stargazer in the title? This is the only Stargazer in canon as of yesterday, right? Right? Sure. There's a new one, though. Yes, Stuart! We got a new Star Trek Picard featurette on the ready room of this week's Discovery episode, and it revealed a boat ton of things from costumes, sets, ships, story, plot. We were done live. The first breakdown, this is a detailed first look at the exterior and some hints at the exterior as well. So what did you think, Stuart, when you saw this first picture? The only picture we really get, solid picture, of the top. What did you think? I was super impressed at first because it definitely looks like a new design ship, much like it has a sovereign look to it. The top of the hull looks very sovereign-y. Yeah. So I, I was excited to see it. And then, I, you know, there's one or two things that I was kind of like, eh, about, but we'll get into those in a minute, I'm sure. But yeah, first the reaction was excited, for sure. Yeah, it's it's nice to see and suddenly what a reveal. Although it did, as soon as you say it, it makes too much sense because I showed the Stargazer in a previous shot, just the old version. So thematically it was like, oh, okay, there's the hint. The issue is obviously with the Discovery ship designed by John Eves, he factored in so many of the post-nemesis design elements that it kind of muddied the water as to what comes where. So if you look at this, you need to do very few things to make it Discovery era ship. Almost no things, honestly, to make it Discovery era. So the excitement level is saying less than it would have been had this been truly a first time since back in the day we'd seen it. That said, obviously, it's not copper. I feel good about that. There, there may be phaser strips, so they look a bit odd. Um, there's there's definitely a bridge window zone element, which is sad, but, I mean, as is the corruption of Alex Kurtzman from J.J. Abrams' films. And there's a lot of windows. It feels excessive, the number of windows. And they're all on, as well, which kind of... Is every single crew in every single crew quarters? Well, like a... Like I speculated, this could be its maiden launch. It could like literally light up the ship, but every window Christmas free mode look impressive. Yeah, as you like leave space dock or whatever. Who knows uh, what the reveal is? It could just be the first time out of space dock with new captain or something. Mm. But at least at least there's visible light spectrum difference. They're not all just flat white, which is a discovery thing. So I appreciate at least that color variation. One thing that kind of threw me off a little bit was the registry illumination, which. I do like the style, and it fits this era, I think, of, like, the next version of ship design. But, unfortunately, it looks very much like the Discovery Enterprise that we got. And with that inset kind of LED <laughs> light strip, almost. So that was one thing that kind of threw me off a little bit. Cause it, did, it does feel like a, the Discovery aesthetic carried over a little bit. So, And the Discovery era aesthetic is so long ago and only used for a couple of years. It's You know, they shouldn't be pulling anything from that. Yeah, it's on the Shinjo and it's on the Discovery Enterprise. So yeah, I mean it's 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 sad to lose the 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 light spotlight seen in the motion picture and in many other ships. It you know I've done thousands of shots with that in play and it's really nice. And this you know, is it more advanced to have one light versus fifteen LED small ones? Who's to say? It just kind of makes it feel more Tron neony as opposed to clean and simple. I don't know. I mean I think if I was a replica, I'd probably try both versions, see how it looks. That said, though, it's extremely curved, and so creating a spotlight would be insanely broad. Well, I'd almost wish they'd go the route of the, the Kelvin films, where if you light the registry, there was like three spotlights. You can see three areas where the, the light would come out of, but... Mm. I would just rather have the registry side further forward so you can have a normal spotlight. But I, I get it with that much. Uh, whatever. And it isn't Stargazer A, because this isn't the actual Stargazer. That was long since been decommissioned. This is just a new ship with a name. Like, we've had two Prometheuses, several Intrepids, etc. It's just a another named Stargazer. But fun fact, the original Stargazer um, was NCC-2893. This is NCC-82893. So it's the same registry almost, but with an 8 added. So I like that. Yeah, yeah it's, that's, that's a cute nod that I quite like. So, you know, it's 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 interesting so far. We'll see if they actually have the correct blinky pattern, as they've also, m many of the new shows have failed to grasp that red is on one side, green is on the other. Can't see yet, but we'll see. However, Stuart, let's compare directly with the Stargazer. The Stargazer. So here's <laughs> yeah, a funny sure. little render I did. Yeah. Just, 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 just to see. This is two 
totally different monsters almost because it's different eras for sure, different design aesthetics. It's good actually seeing them like this. It's, they're so different as far as detail goes. And I'm 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 thinking from this the top picture that the registry is the same style as the original, you know, which is a nice holdover from other eras, but there's no red pinstriping, it's fully black, because you should see a red difference, which I'm okay with. It's nice to have the red pop, but this, this font's fantastic, so I'm glad that at least they kept the font. And as I said at the beginning of this, guys, we have done a really great episode on the Stargazer, so I would suggest checking that out as well, if you can go back and find that in the files. Because it's an actual, a very interesting ship, the original Stargazer, there's a lot to it, so... But definitely, uh, not got those 45,000 windows of the other ship, which implies I'm hugely bigger, which is it's going to be, but we'll see. But still, the next picture is a cheeky picture. It's a slight collage of things that blink and you'll miss them and pick the perfect frame or you'll miss it. The bottom shot is a shot from inside the turbo lift from the sneak peek scene, one of the few frames in focus. And of course it shows a side MSD, which also shows deck layout, which is fantastic. And the top view is actually two shots I've stitched together of Picard who walks out with Turbolift in the Welcome to the Crew. One of which shows the front, one shows the back, and I've melded them together to create a more full image. And the left hand view is the bridge, which is exciting because it's Turbolift going up to the bridge. And so you can see there's an, a, an aft bridge conference room space, which is exciting. Kind of gives you a sense of scale as well. Uh, seeing it like that is a little concerning to me because it does feel very Discovery uh, aesthetic as well with those cells and things. And keep in mind, guys, this is just a first look at this. Um, once we get the show and we actually see it in more detail, see the more exteriors, we're going to have a much more detailed breakdown. But it, it looks like the Europa or the Buran a little bit, yeah. Yeah, the four nacelle Europa. It's just it, you know, you could think it was the same ship. There isn't really anything to distinguish them. I am seeing, you know, within the pixels of the pixels, there is that two-leveled two sovereignty vibe and potentially a forward-facing uh, NX-style slight pontoon front push-out. So it's slightly raised, so the middle is slightly raised, then it goes back, you've more raised like the Reliant, and the main source is slightly thinner. Maybe. I'm just kind of seeing that. But yeah, clearly square nacelles, square rectangle nacelles, very Discovery era, not, not going to continue the sovereign or Prometheus, or whatever vibe. Yeah, I mean, the, the deck layout one there, um, <clears throat> on the right, you can see a bit of the, the cell detail at the front. I do like the side view, though. It's It doesn't it doesn't look huge. It's big, but it doesn't look massive, because Discovery tend to, well, they upsized everything to, to just compare it to anything from original canon. It's like, oh my god, why is this ship three times taller, or bigger? So this does feel, you know, obviously, obvious, sovereign-esque, height but when the, the proportion changes it won't be as big because one of those things that it's always best if they make a ship that fits into the size scale of existing ships so let's not make it as long as a sovereign so that it, it's not just newer equals bigger equals bigger equals bigger because then you just create this effect of giganticism and then com you know having shots of other era ships it's then well that doesn't look right so it feels slightly more it's still big but proportionally it should be okay i think Bridge looks interesting too. I mean, during our live last night, we could look at some more of the interiors of the bridge, which we'll do at some other point as well. So check out those videos. In, it's hard to get any detail off of it, but I love bridge designs, and that still has the classic shape of like the the roof at bridge, even just from the top, um, with the the back part. So. And I'm okay with the with an aft uh, conference room, I suppose. And well, and also tells us that bridge dome is 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 smaller than we think. If you come out to the first picture. That doesn't really make sense scale wise, which is interesting because we obviously look at those front that front cutout. It looks like a window because it looks like a window. But what if it is, you know, a front conference room? Because the scale of the bridge, if you look back at that, it isn't huge because you can see the where the door lock, where the door section ends, where the turret goes into, is a normal sized door. There's no cutout on the front of the bridge for window space. And if there's a big massive cutout, if it's just a hole, well, why would you? You wouldn't have the curve still. I would think you'd have a cut-in to show where the window is, but there's no visible big slicey window here. Because maybe it's a maybe it's a holographic, because if they were smart, they would have it be a window, have it be a wall in one scene, and then just it looks like a window, but it's not. It's a holo it's a it's a future view screen. Like that'd be a way of winning both fans. Shows one, it's not really a window, two, it's a view screen, but it looks like a window, so everyone wins. So maybe that's a hint to that. I think that the the rounded shape at the front is honestly just like the shape of the room, because if you look at that bridge down from the top, if you just, there's like a, not the smaller width circle, but there's a, there's another area around that. Um, 
yeah, I think it's fine. But anyway, regardless, I'm not the biggest fan of those, as you guys know. So, well, we've just got to hope that this is obviously part of our prime present future. But then they're going to go to an alternate future. So we've got to hope that this isn't just look, guys, we made a nice looking ship and it's gone because we're in an alternate future. So we'd like to think with my effort put into the bridge because that's an expensive set. The exterior looks okay detail. I mean, it's a lot of texture based detail. I'm not I'm not blown away by it. You know, and I, and I've seen a lot of 3D models. It's, it's, it's okay. But we haven't seen the, the big detail areas yet. So hopefully they'll actually do beauties. Hopefully they won't do it too dark. Hopefully they'll respect the visual look, make it look nice flowy with other I mean, and as soon as you put it with other cannon ships it'll make it feel even more real you know seat next to a defiant in a fleet shot and it's like okay the, the designs can coexist. it looks like a future version whereas all the stuff looks just so removed from the you know, the gen hay and the tug ship just they're so removed from what we know there's just a well yeah you know so hopefully they'll they'll, they'll do it right but you know they've, they've yet to do that in picard and not really in discovery either so we'll see we'll see I would suggest, guys, making sure you're subscribed to the channel because, like I said, this is just a first look. When we get more detailed looks, we'll do complete breakdowns and comparisons. We still sneaked like out more than you guys thought because there's quick things. So make sure you hit like for that because we do try to make you guys happy and show you these things before you maybe notice them. Um, and make sure that you comment down below what you thought about the design and what your speculations are. What do you think about the nacelles? Do they look Discovery-esque to you? Let us know in the comment section. Have a good discussion. Be nice to each other. And come back and join us for live discussions where we talk about this very these kind of things as well. So, and if you want and if you want support, we do directly here on Track Yards. You can support us in a few great ways. Merch down below if you want to wear a Track Yards shirt. It's always fun. It's always cool. Or support us on Patreon, at PayPal, join the YouTube channel via the join button on the YouTube channel, or one-time donation at trackyards.hotmail.com. That is the PayPal support if you can. If you can't, don't worry. Just you know, if you can. Mm -hmm. So until next time, guys, he is Commander Talking. He's Kevin Foley. Bye, guys. See you later.